to the airport. So it's 25 minutes. Perfect. All right, we're on our way. In 300 meters at the roundabout. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling sort of, you know, a bit anxious about uh, the surgery and, and how it goes. Like obviously it's a big, a big operation um, for Prue and Madonna as well. She left Melbourne at 6 a.m. this morning. She's making a really big sacrifice for us. Tomorrow, Prue Craven will undergo a groundbreaking medical procedure. She will become the third woman in Australia to have a uterus transplant. I think for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm going to feel like a, a whole woman as well. Prue has MRKH syndrome and was born without a uterus. She does have ovaries and can produce viable eggs. But without a uterus, she can't carry a baby. Tomorrow's operation will give her that chance. I expect me to wake up and say, I have a uterus! Her donor, family friend Madonna. That's good, yeah, good. Prue's mum, Julie, was desperate to donate her uterus, but she was not a match. Julie's lifelong friend, Madonna Kostorfin, stepped in. She was almost in tears. And I, I, I sat across the table from her and I went, I'll do it. And it was just, that, just like that. I, I like to help people. And this is something that I can do to help Prue and make Prue's and amazing. Uh, life better. Donna will undergo a radical hysterectomy. Surgeons will then transplant her uterus into Prue. It's been a long journey for Prue and since we found out in when Prue was 16. It'd be good to see this, to see this happen. Yeah. We've been through a huge amount of treatment, um, a lot more than most, I would say. It started about a year after we got married. I was about 27. Prue and her husband, Tom, have been through seven IVF cycles. Three failed surrogacies in Thailand cost them more than $60,000 and all their frozen embryos. The couple looked into adoption when they moved to the UK. Then a friend in Australia offered to be a surrogate, which didn't work out. <sighs> Prue discovered the uterus transplant trial in 2019 and has been waiting ever since. You, you can't go through like 20 years of medical challenges and infertility treatment and you're either going to come out one way or the other. You're either going to come out broken down or you're either going to come out stronger. And I believe that I'm coming out stronger. It's hard to explain the significance of a surgery like this for women. I think for me, it's fantastic because it gives women another option and a choice in the past they could only do surrogacy or adoption, and that was not fulfilling a certain component of being a mother. In total, the surgery across both donor and recipient takes about 14 hours. It's just a cut on the tummy. For Madonna to have done this for Prue, it's just phenomenal. To be able to be so altruistic, to put yourself under surgery for such an extended period of time. Going through all of that is mammoth and not to be underestimated. But by a keyboard. I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing that we have people in the world like Madonna who are willing to do this for someone else. Everything's really starting to feel so real now and it's actually going to happen.
I've been wanting to come and give you a hug. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, How you doing? I'm good. I'm okay. Doctors are really happy with blood flow and my recovery so far. So there's been about 90 performed around the world and there's been about 40 babies born. So if it then gets through that first month, then they've got a fairly good chance, like a 60% chance of mm. having a pregnancy. It was really hard to just sit there at hospital being completely helpless. It's much easier to cope seeing them, um, you know, just gradually get better. I'm feeling tired, but my recovery is going really well. Uh, every day has its own challenges, some ups and downs, um, but each day I'm getting better and better, which is great. How you doing? Not, a, not too bad. Your vacation time? It is. At least mine's easier than yours. I yeah. think there are a few things. That's OK. Prue and Madonna are recovering together. They took both my ovaries. I've gone into menopause, so this is six, 12 months, mm -hmm. and then they'll assess it. Just got to take it one day at a time. Rest, recover, and, um, yeah, just start living life. Madonna will fly home to Melbourne to continue her recovery. Prue will wait for her next milestone. Come on. I'm so excited. Got to give mum a call. Here, pop it. Give everyone a call. Been waiting, been waiting 32 days exactly for this moment. This is my first time ever having a period in my whole life. Cheers! Cheers to periods! <laughs> That's like a really positive sign that the, the transplanted uterus is doing exactly what it, it should be doing. And it's, um, it really signifies that the uterus is, is getting ready for carrying a baby. Now this is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. In October, they'll have an embryo transfer. Their first shot at pregnancy. My condition, MRKH, it affects one in 5,000 women and to this day there are still GPs, doctors that have never heard of this condition. It's taken a lot of belief and hope to get myself to where I am and I just want to prove to everyone that it's possible. <laughs>